Hello. In this video, we will cover different types of computer networks. So what is a computer network? A computer network is a group of computers linked to each other that enables the computers to communicate with each other and also share resources, data and application. So why do we need a computer network? A computer network is majorly used for communication. People can exchange information and messages. A centralized database and document repository helps to avoid duplication of data. It is used for sharing of resources like modems, scanners and printers to reduce expenditure. People can also share expensive software too. A network can be classified into many types based upon area covered or based upon architecture or based upon topology. Let's see them one by one. Based upon area covered, network is divided into three types. LAN which stands for local area network, MAN which stands for metropolitan area network and WAN which stands for wide area network. LAN usually connects within small area and small number of computers and devices typically within the same building or office. Example of LAN are set up in a home, small office or in your school. When many such LANs are interconnected to form a larger network that usually spans several buildings in the same city or town, it is called as MAN. Example, connection of various bank ATMs in the city or all of the computers which are connected in a university, a reservation system, etc. Network that covers large geographical area, even across countries, are called as WAN. Internet is an example of WAN and largest network. Another example is 4G network which is used across regions or countries or private networks used by large corporations, banks or military. Now the questions you could be asked would either to explain any of them in detail or differentiate between them. Let's compare their features. LAN are typically connected with cables wires or wireless technology. In MAN, various LANs are connected to each other through telephone lines or fiber optic cables. WAN connects different MANs by either fiber optic cables or satellite links. The transmission speed of LAN is high, while the transmission speed of MAN is average. Comparatively, the transmission speed of WAN is low. Setting up a LAN is less costly as you can use cheaper hardware such as cable, hubs and routers to set it up. MAN is moderately more expensive as you need additional hardware and security features to connect multiple LANs. WANs are even more expensive as they require satellite connections or huge fiber optic setups across oceans and countries for connectivity. Now let's look at what are the different type of network architecture that can be used. The two type of network architecture that are used are client server network and peer to peer network. Client server network has powerful centralized computer called as a server which attends to all the requests of clients and does all the processing. Server performs all the major operations such as communication and security management. It is also responsible for managing all the resources such as files, directories, printers, etc. Peer-to-peer -peer network is another type of network which has powerful computers that are connected to one another to share resources. Each of those computers stand as individual units. Now the questions you could be asked is to differentiate between the two or list the advantages or disadvantages of any of them. So let's explore them in detail. Client server setup is suitable for large networks while peer-to-peer -peer network is useful for small environments, usually up to 10 computers. 
client server network is expensive as it requires a server with large memory peer to peer network is cheaper as it only requires setup of connectivity between computers in client server architecture clients are dependent on the server if the server fails the network comes to a standstill in peer to peer network clients are not dependent on a central server if any of the machine fails the network continues to run client server setup offers enhanced security sharing and backup option with overall improvement in performance in peer to peer since each device manages itself security is low and does not have advanced features such as centralized file sharing or backup client server needs dedicated team of people to set up and manage the server peer to peer is easy to set up and maintain as each computer manages itself now let's look at how networks are classified based upon topology topology refers to arrangement of computers on network computers can be physically arranged in multiple ways key topologies which are popular are bus ring star mesh and tree in bus network a single cable carries the entire data every device is connected to the bus when a node wants to send a message over the network it puts a message over the bus in ring network all computers are connected in a closed circle the node that receives the message from the previous computer will retransmit to the next node the data flows in one direction continuously and in an endless loop in star all computers are connected to central hub or computer the central computer is known as a server and the peripheral devices attached to the server are known as clients all information passes through the central server in mesh every node is connected to other node there are multiple paths from one computer to another computer and it does not contain any hub or switch a tree topology combines bus and star topology a tree topology is a type of structure in which all the computers are connected with each other in a hierarchical fashion now the question you could be asked could be either differentiate between them or list the advantages or disadvantages of any of them so let's explore them in detail in bus topology failure in backbone causes disruption of the entire network similarly in ring failure in any node can disrupt the entire network in star network if server fails entire network fails in mesh if any node fails the network still continues to operate in tree if any node fails part of the network is impacted while others still continue to operate installation of bus network requires moderate effort installation of ring and star is both easy as you just need to connect the computers as per the configuration mesh is moderately difficult as it requires connecting all the computers installation of tree is comparatively difficult as network needs to be designed and planned properly before execution in bus network cable length requirement is low as computers can be directly connected to the bus ring requires moderate length of cable as you are connected to two neighboring computers star and mesh requires a lot more cable than others in tree network the cable requirement is moderate the cost of installation and maintenance is low in bus network it is comparatively moderate in ring and star due to high cable cost and also includes cost of server in case of star mesh and tree have even higher cost due to high cable cost and multiple devices 
and the maintenance required. Network performance in case of bus and ring is moderate as the message is broadcasted. As we add more nodes in the network, the speed slows down. Network performance in star and mesh is high. However, it too does get impacted as the size grows bigger. In case of tree, the performance is average due to possible traffic jams. That brings us to the end of computer networks video. In our next video, we will look at different devices and protocols you need to set up a computer network.